And we want to get you right out the door to that breaking news, that deadly crash involving a semi truck on the eastbound 10 freeway in West Covina. It happened just west of Citrus Street on the 10 and all eastbound lanes are blocked right now. So keep that in mind. CBS News Candace Crone is there live with the latest on this developing and breaking story. Candace, good morning. Good morning, DeMarco. This is creating a major backup. If you take a look behind me, uh, you can see the crash happened just down the freeway from where we are. Uh, the emergency lights there in the distance. Uh, but I want to point out traffic right now. Drivers are being diverted at Azusa. They're getting off. And uh, this has uh, created a uh, lot of backup here as uh, people are just trying to get off the freeway and get out of this area so crews uh, can clean up. Uh, the freeway. Here's some video though, actually a live pictures from Sky 2 and you can see just how violent this crash was by all of the damage uh, left behind. Uh, Going to be a major cleanup for crews. I know that they are trying to get at least one lane open, but uh, still going to be quite some time before that happens. Let's go now to some video of one of the big rig drivers that had to be rescued. This crash happened just before three o'clock this morning and we're told that three semi trucks somehow collided and we believe one of the drivers was killed in that crash when CHP got here they noticed that a second driver was trapped inside the cab of his semi and firefighters had to use axes uh, to pry the door open and free him from the steering wheel. Rescuers uh, even had to put a neck brace on the man. It appeared though that he was able to move. CHP says that some fluids from the semis leaked onto the freeway and so hazmat crews have been called in uh, to come and mop things up. Uh, the semis are sprawled across several lanes of the eastbound 10 and officers say that they are working to try and get at least one lane open for traffic to pass through. Uh, back out here live, I should also mention there are several cars still stuck in the aftermath of this crash. And so right now CHP is having them turn around on the eastbound 10 and exit here at Azusa.